This video will cover part configurations. Design configurations allow you to create multiple variations of a part, sheet metal part, or assembly, and maintain them in a single workspace. When a part with configurations is included in an assembly, you can specify which configuration you want to see in the assembly. In addition, when you're creating a drawing, you can specify which configuration of a part or assembly will be inserted into a new drawing view. Of the various design configurations, part configurations are generally the easiest to understand and initially work with. In this video, we will be looking at making part configurations of a simple socket head cap screw. When a new part or assembly is created, it is started with the default configuration of Config 1. A right click on Config 1 and then selecting Edit brings up the configuration dialog box where you can see the original default settings for this part. Notice the Unlock button is selected, which unchecks all of the checkboxes in the Configuration Options box. The Active checkbox is checked because this is the only configuration so far. To add a configuration in the Design Explorer, right-click on the word Configuration in the Design Explorer. Select New Configuration. This will give you the pop-up message box. Within this dialog box, there are several different options you can select depending upon what you need to accomplish with your part. Using these options will allow you to have some features show in some of the configurations, while other configurations may or may not have these options showing. We're going to create a new configuration of this screw, which will be exactly the same except for the color. But first, let's take a look at the various options available in the New Configuration dialog box. New Configuration Options Name This is the name that will appear in the Design Explorer. Default name for New Configuration will be Config and then a number after that. Copy From This will copy the current aspects of the part to the configuration that is being created. This is similar to a family of parts. Parts may be more similar to some parts than to others. This is equivalent to copying the configuration and making a new one. The features that are shown or suppressed in the current configuration will also be shown or suppressed in the new configuration. Locks. Lock all. All of the items will be locked. The resultant part will be totally unique from other configurations. Unlock all. All of the items will be unlocked. The resultant part will be identical to other configurations. If the item is not selected, that is, it's unlocked, then when the configuration it is being copied from is changed, the item in the configuration part will change. If the item is locked, the configuration can be different from the original part. For example, block A is green and is the original configuration. When the block B configuration is created, the color option is not checked. Since the color is unlocked, when block A's color is changed, block B's color will also automatically change. If you want different configurations to have different colors, the color option will need to be selected. That is, the color option will need to be locked. Let's try that again, but this time with a color lock to see the difference. Because the color was locked out, this characteristic is completely independent between the two configurations. Now back to those options. Configuration Options These are the available options of part configurations. After they are selected, the options can be changed later by simply right-clicking on the configuration name and selecting Edit. These are the only options that allow the parts to be different from the other configurations. Feature Suppression Allows features to be suppressed. This allows features to be added so they appear in some of the configurations but not in others. Parameter values, such as dimensions and anything in the equation editor. Part data, general properties. Each configuration can have different values. Frequently for parts, there must be different specifications for the various parts, such as metric or English, material properties, unit precision, and bill of material data. Color properties. This option will retain the color properties of the parts. One configuration can be blue, for example, with 100% opacity and no edge colors, 
while another configuration might be green with 75% opacity and have edge colors. Reference Geometry This allows reference geometry, planes, and axes to be used or hidden with other configurations. Active Section View This allows section views to be used with other configurations. Active If this option is selected and the OK button is then clicked, this will be the active configuration in the Design Explorer. The Procedure for Configurations Configurations can be added at any time during the creation of a part. Typically, configurations will be added to a design after the base of the design is completed. After this, configurations are added as needed and the options are locked or unlocked depending upon the need of the application. The items that are available in the configuration options are the only items that can be locked or unlocked. For example, since there is no option for deleted features, if a feature is deleted from the Design Explorer, it will be deleted from all of the configurations, regardless of whether the configuration is locked or not. The same is true for editing sketches and adding additional sketches. Those sketch features will be populated in all of the sketches. To make a new configuration of this screw, right-click on Config 1 and select Lock. Right-click on the word Configurations in the Design Explorer and select New Configuration. The New Configuration dialog appears. Everything is locked on Configuration number 2 because that was the state of the configuration of number 1 when the new configuration was created. At this point, number 2 is an exact copy of number 1. We are going to change the color of number 2, but we want number 1 to remain the same color as it is right now. Click Active to make the new configuration the active one. Click OK. Now that we've created and activated a new version, a configuration, of this part, we're going to change its finish from nickel to black anodized. Right-click on the screen in the working area. Select Color Properties from the pop-up menu. Click the Color button. Click on the black color square. Click OK in the Color dialog and click OK in the Color Properties dialog. To see the effect of what was just done, right-click on Config 1 and select Active. Here's the nickel version. Right-click on Config 2 and select Activate, and here's the black version again. This video covered the creation of additional part configurations, which are essentially different versions stored in the same part file. The configurations options, including the concept of locking, were discussed and you saw how a part property can be changed in one configuration while it remains unchanged in another configuration.